Senior nights, the first state poll, and the oddities of this soccer season are among the topics Mark Koontz and Chris Black tackle tonight in Sidekicks. Sidekicks on Sports Nightly is presented by Pace Setter Soccer Club, soccer excellence since 1980. It's already senior night season on the soccer pitch. Hello and welcome to Sidekicks. I'm Mark Koontz. As Chris Black joins us tonight. Danny Fisher off busy coaching. We'll have Danny back in next week. And, and Chris, part of the, the issue, we've seen this in all sorts of sports this fall. Senior nights are moved up, so we're seeing senior nights in the, in the middle of September. And for St. Ursula, they had their senior night, and boy, did they go out in, in style, honor their seniors in style with a big one over Whitmer this evening. Yeah, I hope they warn the flower people early, warm the cardboard cutout people early. They're pushing that up in the schedule this year. And, of course, you want to get that in just in case. I'm not going to say it, just in case you want to get those done early in this year. But, yeah, congratulations to the seniors there. Obviously, I would would, would have wanted to be there. It would have been nice if I, could have, I couldn't make it today. But uh, they went out in style, nice 11-1 victory over Whitmer, and a lot of kids contributed in that game. Um, and it's a track game, too. It's senior night. You want to honor your seniors, but it's still a track game. It's still a game. you got to take care of business, and they sure did that. Staying on the girls' side of things, this week we had our first coaches poll release for high school soccer in Ohio. Two area girls' teams are ranked, both Perrysburg and Anthony Wayne. Generals checking at ninth in Division One, Perrysburg at number 12. So they're, they're not quite meeting right away. They're going to meet up later on in the season. The next big game for Perrysburg, though, is Northfield. Yeah, and you, you look at how Perrysburg ended last year, how Northview ended last year. Two very, very good teams at, at the end of the season last year. So they're off to great starts this year, and that's, that's definitely a game to look forward to, um, which is nice. It's back to a multi-team race again in the NLL. It's not just one, maybe two. So it's nice to see it a little bit more wide open. A lot of games to be played, obviously, people figuring out how much they lost last year, guessing where they're going to end up being. I think after this week's results, the next coach's poll might tighten up a little bit, be a little more accurate where we think that people actually are instead of where they might be. Uh, but obviously, you know, it's paper, but it's fun. It's fun to see where the polls are and see where you're stacking up against other people. And then on the boys' side, Finley checked in at 10th in the state for Division One, but St. John's with a nice win over the Trojans this week. So Titans are, are looking pretty good right now. Yeah, and you think about that, Finley, you know, it's a storied stadium there. They've got a big grass field that's difficult to plan if you're a St. John's team, always playing on field turf for practice most of the time. Your home games are on turf. You've got to make that adjustment to a much bigger field. Uh, but they ended up doing that, getting a goal from Danny Salim, which is you know, obviously one of the best players in the area. Just a clinical, I heard at practice the other day, an artist. You know, let him work, let him paint, let him experiment. And, and obviously he got a great goal for them, 1-0 victory. That's huge to get the shutout for St. John's as well as, uh, as, as the three points for the win. So it puts them in the driver's seat of the track as, as they've been the last few years, uh, sets the tone for the rest of the season as St. John's got over that. Lost to Xavier, phenomenal Xavier team, 3-0. They're right back to it in Northwest Ohio. And then the Titans get Perrysburg this week in a game you'll be able to see on BCSN. So the, the Jackets and Titans, traditionally a, a very good matchup on the soccer pitch. And I think we're expecting to be maybe a tight, low-scoring game Saturday when they meet. Yeah, and it's two very athletic programs, very deep too, JV teams that, that are very good. Um, so they've got a lot of athletes, and, and this year's had a lot of injuries, and of course some sickness worries and stuff like that here and there. So those teams have the athletes to overcome that. Um, a little bit different styles. We saw Perrysburg kind of change their style against Northview uh, this week. Didn't go well for them with Northview boys running away with that game, but Perrysburg's showing that they can play. They can knock the ball around. St. John's wants to knock the ball around a little bit, but maybe a little bit more direct and then let the guys up top um, do, do some work as well. So that'll be a fun game to watch for Northwest Ohio. Definitely you know, one that people are looking forward to from the boys' side. And I think this is an interesting time in the soccer season where we're about a month in. We've gotten over that initial burst of, yeah, the season is here. We're not quite at the playoff picture, but at the same time, it's quickly approaching. So this is kind of the, if you will, the dog days of September for the soccer season. Yeah, and so many things have been off with the coaches' schedules from not having scrimmage and things like that. And, and it, is, it just feels weird. You can't figure out what part of the season it is right now <laughs> uh, for any given moment. But, um, you know, Every game is so important because they're always worried about, will this be our last one? Or maybe they lost some of their games that they could have played because they're too far away. So every game is so important for these coaches. And a couple strange, strange results that we're not used to makes it even more exciting. And you've got to make the most of every opportunity, whether it's league or non-league, uh, to, to really set yourself up ready for the playoffs.